you. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> hungry. <laughs> Fry here? I or, you do? You have a fry? I, I would kill for a fry. Can I have one? Seriously? Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm a model. And by the way, thank you so much for saying that I devoured an entire Tic Tac. I never eat one meal in one sitting. And also, you guys, I decided to become a breath Aryan. What? Uh -huh. It's an upgrade for being vegetarian. <laughs> it's a like California. <laughs> you know, I usually boil the water, cook the cabbage, and uh, eat the steam. <laughs> Thanks for looking concerned. <laughs> I'll pick up the fry just to be polite. <laughs> Uh, I love birthdays. Oh my god, happy birthday. We have like three birthdays in the house, right? Okay, I've done this before and I love celebrating other people. Can we sing a little bit happy birthday? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Birthday is a special day, right? It's all about you. My mother tried it really hard. She bur born me, not burned me, born me on a special day. There's one guy I can never compete with. His name is Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nobody sings you happy birthday on Christmas. I know it's not funny. From now on, I'm just gonna do rape jokes. Yes. Yes. Really. <laughs> Uh, you know, a lot of times I have a problem because people think that as a model I look down on them and judge them. But I always say, it's not true. I'm not judging you. I don't even know you there. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. Um, you know, <laughs> I think I'm a good person. Like I wear this bracelet, supports all religions, and I go to a lot of charity events. Like I went to this charity event last night and they asked me how fashion helps charity and they said fashion helps by giving jobs to the children. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> no? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I started my work at 13, you know, I uh, had my first job at Japan, got paid $57,000 in cash. I know, right? Who has a bank account at 13? So I put my cash, put it in the luggage, and flew it in the airplane. Thank God it was air flawed, because if it was a JFK, they would have found my baggage, my money, and cocaine. <laughs> and then how else do you think I stay skinny and willpower? <laughs> um, how many parents are here again? Yes! <laughs> I have three or four kids. <laughs> Don't worry, I don't judge you by, I always know who the parents are by the number of the drinks on the table, but I don't judge you, I have a lot of drugs after the show. <laughs> I have three or four kids and I love spending time with them, except my stepdaughter gives me a really hard time for not being able to cook. She always says, right, she always says, ah, I used to be good when I was your age. You guys didn't get it? <laughs> As a blood model, I have to explain it to you. My daughter is older than me. My stepdaughter. <laughs> um, who, so nobody's married. Oh, God. I, I like almost fell here. Um, who is, uh, nobody's married here. Who's dating? Anybody is dating? Nobody oh. in this room. Trust me on that one, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Robots, right? That's the new thing, sex robots. My husband said I need a sex robot because I am one, so <laughs> that's not gonna work for me. Uh, <laughs> dating is really hard in LA, and it's true. My husband says I am going to the wrong clubs, like this one in Pasadena. <laughs> 
Oh, frustrations. What do you guys want to talk about? Like, um, dating probably not, right? Like, Hollywood, um, your life. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> Nothing? Oh, my life. Well, I just came from uh, three days at silent retreat. Very shocking. Like, yesterday I was on the way to Maxine, 100 hot party, and I was like, why did you select me? But I was very honored. And then my husband was like, don't go there. I have a better present for you. Like, silent retreat, 10th year anniversary. I was like, this is a present for you? It's basically a polite way to say, shut the fuck up. <laughs> So I went, and they're like, you have to think about thinking and not think. I'm like, and I was like, I'm a model, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> I never earned a dollar with my mind. <laughs> True. How do you know? <laughs> okay, um, you know, and also, any anybody in the strike, like writers, or anybody who's like an actor or an artist here? <laughs> Hey, um, Hollywood is fucked up, <laughs> right? I mean, you know, I always thought I moved to the city of angels. So far, I only encountered devils here, but the devils are pretty consistent. I found out they're either gonna fuck you in this town, or if they're not gonna fuck you in this town, they're gonna fuck you in this town. I better be fucked on the business deal. I'll be like Betty Davis. 100 hours of walks of shame on Netflix. Okay, this is joke is like very advanced. <laughs> <laughs> I think Elon Musk, you know, I can't get the rest of them in this town. I mean, I recently auditioned to be a Russian salesman or something, saleswoman. And they're like, we love your acting. Can you be please more Russian? I'm like, how the fuck I can be more Russian? I'm Russian. They're like, oh, we don't speak with Spanish accent. <laughs> Just rolling the stand with the punches like my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, and uh, they're like, I, I was like, how can I guess how more Russian can I be? You know, you don't ask an American. You ask an American to be a Texan accent or anything else, like, right? I, and, and I'm like, I'm not a magician. I can't fucking read your mind. The next day, they recast the role as a Russian magician. <laughs> can't get arrested in this town. So Elon Musk is my inspiration. I think uh, he's from Mars, for real. His name is Elon Tusk. His daughter's name is really weird. I just want to go home. I want to go home too. <laughs> my biggest inspiration is Arnold Schwarzenegger. He put it in America. If you look good, nobody gives a fuck what you're saying. So thank you so much for coming.